everyone and it's Keely here from Keely's Love Tarot and a huge welcome to my channel. In today's reading the situation that we're going to be looking at is regarding um, an ex. It is a past person. I did do a quick pre-shuffle first with my um, Lenormand to get uh, the general energy of what's actually going on with your person. So that's what we're going to be looking into today. Obviously this reading is timeless. Um, when you find it, you're meant to find it. Take what applies to you and as usual, just leave the rest. So, oh yes, and before we start, if you do want a personal reading, if you just check out the um, description box below, you'll find all the details, the link to my website where there's more information about me, the readings I offer and just everything in more detail for you. So if you are interested, don't forget, check that out. Okay, let's get started. Right, as I said, the energy I picked up on when I shuffled was there is a person, an ex, who wishes to speak to you. Um, I feel this person betrayed you in the past. Um, I'm not sure how, uh, but you've got this definitely a form of um, betrayal here that happened. And they let you down. They really did let you down in some way, but they are coming back in, or they're going to try and come back in with a new offer, which I think you might find tempting. So we're going to have a look. And the other channeled message I got today was uh, you blocked me everywhere so you've obviously blocked this person you, you know whatever the betrayal was it's it really cut to the core but this person is trying to find a way of um, of coming back so let's just let's just have a look let's just have a look and see what's going on let's just pop those to one side okay let's see what this person wants see what their feelings are let's see what their feelings are at the moment let's see okay all right yes they're definitely blocked um they definitely want to talk to you um you've definitely <laughs> blocked this person literally everywhere um let's see what else is going on Oh yes, exactly what the pre-shuffle showed with my Normand. Yeah, they've um, they've betrayed you. They've lied to you about something. Um, a lot of drama and conflict, but definitely, definitely they've lied. They know they've lied, though. I think that's what's coming through here. They actually know they've lied. So let's just see what else we can get. Oh, okay. Well, this is pretty clear. The, uh, <laughs> the, I don't know if you can see that, the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups, this is definitely a betrayal with somebody else. Um, I did actually get in my Lenormand, uh, the other half, the person and the snake. So, this person that you have cut off definitely betrayed you, um, possibly, like I say, with a third party, or they could have just been lying about friendships they got. There was just an element of deceit, sneaking around and not very nice behaviour, really. So, let's see what they are thinking now, thinking, feeling now. What do they actually want to say if you actually open up to them? Oops. What do they actually want to say if you open up to them? What do they actually want to say? They know they pushed you away. They definitely know they pushed you away. I think they feel that even though there has been a lot of challenges in this relationship. 
They definitely don't want this to be over. They think this relationship is worth fighting for. They want to fight for it. They want to fight for it. And I think in the past, there were certain people in your environment that they should have stood up for you against and they didn't. Maybe friends or family, but they definitely did not support your beliefs. You had very strong beliefs about something that you thought was worth fighting for. This person didn't support you. They just, they just pushed you away. They totally pushed you away. And they know that now. They've realised that. Let's see what else they are. Okay. Yeah. They want to take control back of this situation. They, they've realised that they've been weak. They've been irresponsible. And possibly have been playing away with somebody else. They didn't take their responsibility to you very seriously. They didn't, they didn't give you a stable, loving environment. They were weak, irresponsible, and just didn't really give you the commitment you needed. They just let the whole thing crumble, really, without supporting you. Yeah, they definitely, definitely want to communicate with you. This person really, really wants to communicate. The only energy I am getting with this because of the other cards and especially my pre-shuffle and the energy when I was pre-shuffling that came through to me is be careful. You know, you've blocked this person for a reason. And usually when people block... It really is the last straw. It's because you mentally can't take any more, any more of this of this nonsense. So you know your only safety net is actually just to cut off contact. And I feel that this person is going to show you their good side. That's what I'm getting from this. That's why I said earlier it might be tempting. They're going to tempt you. They're going to pull all the tricks out of their little bag. They're going to embellish everything that they've possibly been doing during your separation so they could say that they've changed or that I don't know they've got a new job or they're actually doing something with their lives but I feel it is really just to win you back there were definitely a lot of lies with this person in the past and I feel there was quite a lot that you intuitively knew was going on and they completely denied it so be very, very careful um, with this person when they do come back because they are going to. They're going to try and come back. I don't know how they're going to do it if you've blocked you everywhere, but maybe fake accounts or something. Um, let's just see what else we've got. Yeah, I don't think you're going to at the moment accept what they've got to offer um i think i've just got a really really strong energy here of somebody else involved in this like i say it could be a third party it could just be one of their friends or a family member there was somebody in your connection that caused a heck of a lot of trouble for you a real amount of trouble which caused you to, you know, just completely block this person off. You know, there was just no point. And I, I feel that, in all honesty, that this element of this person is still actually in the environment. And I think your person will tell you, like I said earlier, they will tell you that, no, I've sorted it out, it's all over, don't worry, I've, I've sorted this out. Yeah, I've got the devil at the bottom of the deck. Um, because they want you back. I think they're so desperate to see you, to speak to you, that they are going to tell you what they think you want to hear. And I think in the back of their mind, once they've made contact, they will feel that you're attached again. And they might start to remove this negative influence in their life but it is still in that it's still whoever it is or whatever the situation was it's still there um 
so that's really the the general energy like you said they you know they're, they're wanting to come back as far as they're concerned there's unfinished business they will come in and tell you that they've changed they're going to be responsible they're going to be you know man up basically and um, they're going to protect you they're going to stand up for you they're going to fight for you but there is still an underlying energy in this spread that this leopard hasn't quite changed their spots yet. That's really massively, massively what's coming through here. Yeah, I've got the devil at the bottom, like I said, I've got the moon. Everything they're going to tell you and everything they're going to say is not as it seems. It's not as it seems at all. There are deceit and lies in this. You know, in one spread, I've got swords the moon and the three of cups and the magician so i'm just going to now pull some cards just to see what action they might take towards you next you know see if we can get an idea of what action they might take so let's have a look at, let's go for this one like i say all my decks i've shuffled them really well before i start I do try that riffle shuffling that some people can do, but I don't know. I just end up with my cards all over the floor. I stuck to the stuck to the carpet or something. Right. Okay, let's just see. Let's see. Let's see. What will their next action be? Oops, a daisy. Too many, too many, too many. Too many. Let's see. Okay. No, devil again. That is a massive warning. They're obsessed with you. This person is still very attached to you. They are obsessed with you. And you know, sometimes when you actually pull your energy back, which I feel you have done, obviously you've blocked them, but when you pull your energy back, it's the other person can sense that and they want you more and more and they tend to become a little bit more obsessed. But that's the second time the devil's come out, um, which really, again, links in with my um, Lenormand card, my snake card. You are going to be tempted, but this person is manipulative. That is really what's coming through. The energy that they're sitting in at the moment is still manipulative. That's not saying it will be the same in two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Energy shifts, but at the moment... That energy is still manipulative. It's almost like they want to win. They want to win. You've hurt them quite, you know, quite rightly so by walking away, looking at this spread of cards on the table. You know, they run to the hills. So let's just have... Oh, and the Three of Cups. This is unbelievable. The spirit is really trying to tell us something here. Yeah. Be very careful with this person. They haven't changed at the moment. Um, let's see if they could actually talk to you. Let me see, spirit. This person who I'm connecting with, the energy I'm connecting with, what would this person want to say? What would this person want to say, please? Thank you. I wish I could take back my words. Yeah, they want to, but that's the thing, that's why they want to communicate with you. But the feeling I'm getting is the words they're going to come through with are not going to be truthful. They're not going to be truthful. I, I just don't feel like these are going to be truthful at all. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get one more. I wish I'd treated you better. Yeah, yeah, they do, they definitely do. But it's a very um, negative energy, really, surrounding them. You know, you've got the devil, the moon, and the three of cups twice, and the seven of swords, and the magician, ill-aspected, on the same table. Um, that kind of tells you, really, what's going on. Let me just see when... It's quite interesting. Let me just see when this person might make some, try and make some contact. 
or when you might actually speak to this person. Or if spirit, I don't know, I feel spirit could block this. Sometimes we look back in life and we realise why a connection didn't work. Even though at the time it's absolutely heartbreaking and you just can't understand, you blame yourself. It's only when you look back you realise that you're actually divinely protected. Yeah, they're going to take action. They are coming forward. They're definitely taking action. Um, let's try one of these. Look at one of these ones. Excuse me, sniveling. I've got a bit of a cold. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, I think what this is saying in this situation is you have to have passion for yourself. I think you need to love yourself. You know, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy for yourself. Not, not all of this confusion that this person's caused you in the past. Um, you know, it is difficult. It is difficult. But unless this person does the work themselves, if you do reconcile maybe not for the first couple of months maybe not even the first six months but it'll just just has a tendency just to end up the same way it was so anyway that's your reading for today i hope you found that helpful and like i say if you enjoyed this if you can subscribe that would be wonderful and hit the like button and also if you want a reading that's personal to yourself check out the description box. My link to my website's in there with all the information you need to know. And once again, thanks ever so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.